Welcome back to the LPR Trading Group YouTube channel. It's Dave again. It's been a while since we've gotten a video for you guys, but I've got a good one here for you guys tonight. What we're going to be talking about are negotiation ranges. So it's going to be identifying from the top down where there are some offers stacked and where there's some bid stacked. We can use our simple candlestick chart to see where the interactions have been happening on the bids and offers. And I'm gonna show you guys starting with the daily chart here. So you can see on the right side, I have some one hour offers, four hour, one hour bids, four hour offers, 30 minute bids, so on and so forth. I'm gonna break down the time frames and show you what they exactly mean. And I just encourage you guys to plot them on your chart and see how the market likes to trade around these areas. So there are a few rules here for these bids and offers. <clears throat> and what I wanna say, the most important rule, number one, we're gonna focus on this area right here, this four hour offer. This is going to be one, two tests, and a lot of rejections here in this area. So once this plays out and price actually moves to the downside from here, I want you guys to take a box and draw it around this congregation of prints that created an offer. What's an offer? A limit seller sell sitting here selling price, buyers here, selling price it's sellers selling into this area short selling covering positions whatever you want to call it there is an offer sitting here in this area holding price down dave well that doesn't do anything for me the market moved all the way down and i couldn't catch a trade off it we're not supposed to catch a trade off that right we're supposed to identify that as a potential offer and when price comes back to it we judge its reaction to see if there is an offer still present in that area if there is we dial into our smaller time frames and we find a setup so on the four hour chart, we have this offer sitting in here, okay? We can even see on the four hour, we have these bids sitting in here. I'll show you what that looks like on the 30 minute chart. Let's drop down to the one hour. So now that we're in the one hour here, I'll zoom out a little bit and we've got some one hour offers at the top, this pink box at the top. We can see price comes up, we get rejected, rejected, rejected rejected, rejected. We know that this is a one hour offer, a, a one hour offer after we test it twice, okay? So these two tests right here, we would have this line dropped in and say, we have an offer here. Price moves down, comes back up, we reject it again, again, again. Look for a trade in these areas. This is the on session trading right here, but this is the open. This is the RTH open where most of you guys trade. This could have been an ideal entry trade location for a short position. If you had these offers marked out and you zoomed into your smaller time frames, whether you trade the five minute, one minute, 15 minute, whatever it is, and you look for your setup in this area, you could have found a trade to the short side. We'll zoom down to the 30 minute. Actually, we got one more one hour offer. Excuse me. We'll go back one hour. We got a one hour bid actually. Perfect. So one hour bid right here, we have this low. And as soon as we start congregating at this low test, 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 we mark this zone out. And what do we do? We get a rebid here, market comes in, holds price and drives it to the upside. Then we get a fail. Once we get a fail, you can use these bids as potential reoffers. If price wants to come up and reoffer this position, you can use it as reoffers. I highly, highly recommend you do not just blind limit buy these areas. Okay, I will say again, if you have your one hour bids marked out and price is coming down into the one hour bid, do not just blind limit buy these areas. Wait to find your setup, wait to see the pattern. Even if we get out of that area, but it's confirming we're holding, look for your pattern up here and try to take the trade to the upside. We'll go down to the 30 minute here. And we'll look at this 30 minute bid we have down here at the lows. I actually really like this one. I like this one because we started bidding, we came down and we failed the bid. And this is what I call a sweep or a trap. Okay, sweep or a trap. Price goes on for a few days. We come back and we bid, 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 drive up, bid, drive up, bid, right? You see what's happening here? 
somewhere here in these five tests, we can find an opportunity to find a long in the marketplace. We just need to wait for price to confirm and tell us, yes, I'm holding this area. The beauty about these zones or these areas is they are zones. They're not just straight lines. It's an area price can oscillate around and move over under and still be valid. I like zones preferably. Some people like hard and fast lines. I like a zone because it gives room for price to move around. If you have the big players or the algos in the marketplace, they're not sitting here saying, we're buying everything at 1760 or 17360. They're looking to buy positions in this area, maybe a little bit lower, maybe a little bit lower to build a position into the marketplace, okay? If bigger players or algorithmic traders or algos are buying a thousand lots at 17,360, um, they're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. They, they're, they're not gonna do that, they would not do that. <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop down to the five minute time frame because we can use this concept on something as low as the five minute time frame. So I just wanna look at the past few days here on the five minute chart. This is today's action going into the on session. I'm gonna grab my rectangle tool. I see a few offers sitting right in here. I wanna mark that as offers. I look around, I see a few offers sitting in here on the five minute, okay? See, so we pop up, we offer, 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 offer. We can't sell lower and we drive through. This is, <clears throat> this is still a valid area. Remember I said offer could turn bid, bid can turn offer. I wanna keep that on my chart. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna look for some more. We come down, we have a bid here, we drive to the upside, bid, bid. I like this right here. Why? Because I like this little sweep that it put in. We came down, we bid, we drove up, we swept, we rebid, we rebid, we rebid, and price moved off of this area. So I like this area as a bid. You've got to make sure if you see these types of patterns here, you've got to make sure you're not just focused on this low, that you identify this as the bid, this is the sweep for the liquidity grab, and then these are the rebids for the market to move to the upside. Moving back a little bit, I see a few more offers in here. We drive up, offer, 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 offer. I like somewhere in this area right here. Lots of offers in this area. We finally pull back and we drive to the upside. And what does this do right away? It drives to the upside. We rebid, hold, and we go. Let's see how the other levels played out <clears throat> for today. So we've got these offers sitting here before price moves down shreds up through the offer and this is this is a volatile open we shred through the offer peel right back through it in the on session price comes up offer 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 through the offer holding bid holding bid then we dump the offer 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 okay let's look at the level below these previous offers right here price goes through, we get into a breakout. That tells me this was a good offer. There, were, there was actually selling here, trying to hold price down because this little squeeze, this seller possibly pulls orders, shorts get squeezed out, so on and so forth. Price comes back, we hold bid, we hold bid, very nice, this one goes through. Let's look at our lower levels. We've got a bid, we've got our sweep, bid, 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 price drives up. We come back down and we hold. Let's look back at this level here, so we had offer, 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 offer. Price peels away from the offer a bit. It tries to offer again, drives through, pulls back, rebids. Price holds. It gets a little bit choppy in here. Oops, we moved it there. <clears throat> and then we come back and we sit on a rebid here. I highly encourage you guys to go through your charts top down. Okay, top down. Start with your daily chart. Go down to your four hour, one hour, two hour, whatever time frames you use. Just mark these out. They're not going to hurt to have on your chart. And you must watch the reactions within these areas. If price is coming down, for example, into this one hour bid, price is coming down to this one hour bid, my preferred play is to see this into the one hour bid, hold and watch the market drive to the upside a little bit so I know we're holding. And then whatever setup you take, if you take some ICT approach, order flow, whatever it is, this is an area you could be looking for your setups. We've proved that we're gonna hold. Price starts driving to the upside. We could look for our setups here on some value pullbacks into or just above these marked bids or offers that you have. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a short one. Just something I wanted to share with you guys. We've been playing around with it a little bit in the room. And um, 
it's it's been working very well for those that don't use footprints and order flow and they can't identify bids and offers very good uh, this is a nice way to do it on your traditional candlestick charts again as always like comment subscribe leave a comment down below i will get back to every single one of your comments trade safe good luck cheers